Let's take a look at just a few of the COVID conspiracy theories that weren't. 10 times that media, health officials, or our very own president were proven to have lied about the coronavirus pandemic. They're really criticizing science because I represent science. That's dangerous. Experts and health officials promised in March 2020 that we needed just 15 days to slow the spread. Now, almost two years later, we've seen almost 700 days of mandates, lockdowns, quarantines, shaming, hysteria, and travel restrictions with no stated end in sight. What do we have to look forward to? As of right now, more mandates. Right now in the United States, people should not be walking around with masks. You're sure of it, because people are listening really no. closely to this. Right now, people should not be walking. There's no reason to be walking around with a mask. During the early days of the pandemic, the CDC recommended that Americans not wear face masks, and the U.S. Surgeon General urged us to stop buying masks. But in April 2020, the CDC said that all Americans should wear face coverings to avoid transmission of the virus, sparking culture wars over mask mandates across the country, heavy shaming of those who chose not to wear masks, and viral videos of often violent confrontations between Americans. And that's not even touching the mask situation with children. Then, the CDC said in May that vaccinated Americans don't need to wear masks in almost any setting. And now, most media outlets are reporting that cloth masks just don't work and we should try N95s. I just want a yes, no. And was, was it trying, this? I was trying or was it this? very hard. Look, <laughs> which was it? In December 2020, President-elect Joe Biden promised that he would not force Americans to be vaccinated. No, I don't think it should be mandatory. I wouldn't demand to be mandatory, but I would do everything in my power, just like I don't think masks have to be made mandatory nationwide. But this year, the Biden administration did exactly what Biden said they would not do and mandated that healthcare workers and U.S. companies with more than 100 employees must get vaccinated. The Supreme Court just blocked the Biden administration from enforcing the mandate on businesses and organizations. But healthcare workers who choose not to get vaccinated will still lose their jobs. And now that Americans are seeing that the vaccinations don't fully stop COVID, more and more questions are being asked about why Biden is mandating vaccines. Remember when we were all told that the coronavirus originated in a Chinese wet market? Republican Senator Tom Cotton was lambasted by the media for suggesting the coronavirus actually originated in an infectious disease lab rather than an animal market, as the Chinese government claimed. Snopes called Cotton's claims speculative, the BBC called them unfounded, and the Washington Post went so far as to say that the lab leak theory was debunked. After New York Magazine published an expose highlighting the legitimacy of the theory, many of those media outlets published stories confirming that yes, the coronavirus may have originated in a Wuhan lab. And now, we know that scientists consulting with the U.S. government early in the pandemic believed that the coronavirus had originated in the lab. But Dr. Anthony Fauci worked to shut that hypothesis down. The people who weaponize lies are killing people. Activists, commentators, and teachers unions argued throughout 2020 and 2021 that schools should close out of fear of spreading coronavirus cases from child to child and child to teacher. Though multiple studies suggested that COVID does not easily spread among children and being in school settings doesn't create outbreaks. One commentator in an Atlantic piece suggested that school closures could result in flexible, adaptable, and resilient kids, sparking heavy backlash from conservatives. Now, after months and even years of children missing school, even the New York Times is publishing stories warning that closing schools would be a tragic mistake, recognizing that hospitalization and death is uncommon in children. We were repeatedly promised by Biden, Fauci, and many others that Americans who got vaccinated would not get the coronavirus. You're okay. You're not going to you're not going to get COVID if you have these vaccinations. Now, as we see many vaccinated people continuing to get COVID, we know for a fact that this was not true. Vaccinated Americans can still get coronavirus, though their symptoms are usually less severe and they are less likely to die from the virus. As Fauci said in January, Omicron with its extraordinary, unprecedented degree of efficiency of transmissibility, will ultimately find just about everyone. American women expressed concerns early on about how vaccines would affect their fertility, complaining on social media that their menstrual cycle had changed since getting the vaccine. Media and health officials repeatedly assured the public that there was no evidence to suggest COVID vaccines negatively affect fertility. Until January 2022, when a new study found that women had an average menstrual cycle length of about one day longer than usual after getting vaccinated. Health officials say the change is small and temporary, noting that plenty of vaccinated women have gotten pregnant. 
but women have criticized media dismissals of their concerns, saying they deserve real answers from medical professionals about how the vaccine affects their fertility. We were promised that vaccinations would end COVID and that Americans would no longer have to mask after they got the vaccine. But the CDC changed its mask guidance when it found in July 2021 that vaccinated people could still get the COVID Delta variant. And across the country, leftist politicians like DC Mayor Muriel Bowser continue to mandate masks for indoor businesses and events. Our approach has always been to dial up our interventions uh, as the virus dictates. Fauci has repeatedly denied that agencies under his direction engaged in gain of function research in the Wuhan Institute of Virology. Media called pushback on this claim from people like Senator Rand Paul misinformation. But a high-ranking National Institutes of Health officer admitted in an October letter that the Wuhan Institute of Virology had failed to immediately notify that it had engaged in what sure looks a lot like gain-of-function research, creating a lab-generated chimeric coronavirus between June 2018 and May 2019 that tested more deadly on mice with humanized cells than the natural virus it was made from. This paper that you are referring to was judged by qualified staff up and down the chain as not being gain of function. So what was, when let you me take, finish. When you take an animal virus and you increase its transmissibility to humans, right. you're saying that's not gain of function? Yeah. Biden and Fauci have repeatedly blamed the unvaccinated for propagating outbreaks of the coronavirus, Delta, and Omicron variants. As recently as January 13th, Biden said that this is a pandemic of the unvaccinated, but the president and health officials who continue to cite breakthrough cases are either forgetting or ignoring the many, many vaccinated Americans who have contracted COVID as of late. This is a pandemic of the unvaccinated. And I mean by this right now, both vaccinated and unvaccinated people are testing positive. We now know that we have been lied to by the very people that claim to be protecting us. And we have been lied to repeatedly. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss new content from The Daily Signal.